Hi, my name is Melody Gray Eyes. I'm from the Treaty 6 Territory, Muskeg Lake Cree Nation, and I'm speaking directly to my Indigenous brothers and sisters uh, to take our part as the Indigenous peoples of this land of Canada to bless Israel. We have a unique position as being the first peoples of this land. Uh, we are the gatekeepers, spiritual gatekeepers to Canada. And it says in the word that those who bless Israel shall be blessed. And so we have an opportunity and a privilege to pray for Israel, to declare that indeed uh, the Jewish people are the indigenous peoples of the land of Israel. And, in, and we see that very much in the uh, archaeological evidence and of, which supports the word of God, that the Jewish people have always been in the land. This is the biblical heartland uh, Judea and Samaria, where so much of um, the history of the Jewish people have taken place. And in fact, there is a, a wonderful opportunity that's just come up recently uh, during this war that, and this has been something that's been discussed among the Indigenous peoples for a long time, that there should be uh, an embassy for the indigenous peoples of the world to come together and declare that we believe that this is the land of the indigenous people, the Jewish people of Israel. And so that's something that we can take part in, which is uh, a beautiful thing. You know, there was a quote from uh, the great evangelist, um, uh, Billy Graham in 1975, where he said, you, the indigenous peoples of America, are a sleeping giant, the original American and Canadians. You are now awakening. Just around the corner, you may become a spiritual superpower in this country that could change not only America and Canada, but the world. And I remember when I uh, first became a believer, uh, people in the church said, take your place. And I thought, well, what is my place? I, I was just happy to be a child of God. But you know, God does part people in specific places at specific times. And it says that in Acts 17. He says um, that through one man, through Noah, he placed people in, in an area. And so we have been placed here in Canada at a specific time in this specific place uh, for a destiny. And I believe that as we being uh, the indigenous peoples, as it says in Genesis 12, 3, those who bless Israel shall be blessed, but those who curse Israel shall be cursed. So as we, the indigenous people of Canada, choose to uh, raise our voice to bless Israel, there will be a blessing that returns back upon our nation. And we know that when the Jewish people receive Yeshua as their Messiah, there is going to be a great outpouring throughout the whole world. And so when we pray for our people here to receive uh, Jesus as their Lord and Savior, we know that when we pray for their people to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that that same blessing is going to come back upon us and upon our people. And so, you know, there is such a real connection that we have between the indigenous people and the Jewish people. There's so much similarity, in fact. Uh, we both are tribal people. We're both very connected to the land. And we have a great connection to the Jewish people as the indigenous peoples of Canada. We have experienced some similar things in our history. Uh, first of all, we're both tribal people. <laughs> One thing sometimes we forget is that the Jewish people are tribal. Israel is tribal. Jewish, uh, sorry, Judah is one of the tribes of Israel, but there are uh, 12 tribes of Israel. And so we have that commonality and we're both very connected to the land. We are here and so are they connected to their land. That was one of the covenants. Uh, the Abrahamic covenant was that he would make a nation and he would bring them back to 
to a specific land. They are very much connected to their land as we are here. And unfortunately, we've both been mistreated by the religious establishments, and we have both suffered persecution. And one thing that's very important to uh, also recognize is that we have both been told to forsake our heritage in order to become believers. So um, many indigenous people were seeking the Lord, but unfortunately, when the gospel was shared with us, it was told, you have to forsake who you are and become like us. And the same thing actually has happened to the Jewish people throughout the ages. They were told, forsake who you are as a Jewish person, forsake the culture, which is actually very biblical, much of it, and become what we are, uh, a Christian, you know, but that's that's not the fullness to be a Jewish person and to receive Yeshua is the fullness of being Jewish. God does not ask them to change. And for us as well, where God has people all over the world that he created very specifically in a unique way to worship him, like in a biblical way. And, um, you know, when we are all going to meet together in heaven, there's going to be every tribe, every tongue, every nation, the diversity of God's creation coming together to worship him. And so, so we can also share what we have learned uh, as Indigenous peoples here with the Jewish people, that indeed we want them to be who God created them to be, and we come alongside them and you know, raise them and pray for them to enter into their calling. So what a privilege it is for us as Indigenous peoples to pray for the Indigenous peoples of Israel, the Jewish people and all the lost tribes who are yet to come home. <laughs> 